Dude, I can't even see my own Roblox character, man. What is up, you guys? Realistic Gaming here. Today, we're going to be reading some scary stories in Roblox. And we have a pretty awesome lineup here, as we can see. We got Granny, Bendy, and the Ink Machine, Jason, Siren Head, Slender Man, Hello Neighbor, Samara, and Ice Cream. Yo, that is a pretty cool lineup. So let's begin with these scary stories. Let's begin with Granny, man. Old crusty Granny. <laughs> Where am I? Hmm, it seems like this girl just woke up from a nap and she has no clue where she's at. Okay, we can't open that. All right, let's go check out what happens to this girly. I want to play hide and seek. <laughs> girl, Granny is right behind you. Okay, so she found the exit, but little does she know Granny's creeping up with the bat right behind her, man. <gasps> no! Dude, Granny killed the girl, dude, right off the bat? No pun intended. Oh my god, it wasn't even like a minute that she was alive. And Granny killed her right away. <laughs> oh, like there's an alien right there. All right, let's see what Granny... Oh no, she knocked her out. Ah! Oh my god, it seems like Granny tied her down to the table. Dude, why are people dying? I think there's a Granny right there, but she's invisible. All right, so there's like an invisible Granny model right here that's killing everybody. Oh my god, so that's the end of the story, guys. The girl ended up getting captured by Granny. Oh my god, there was a blue face guy right there. Hey, that's one of the blue guys from the blue crew. I forgot the name. All right, so let's move on to Bandy and the Ink Machine. Yo, we haven't had one of these stories in a long time. All right, Joey, I'm here. Let's see if we can see what you wanted to show me. All right, let's see what they're talking about. So he's talking about Joey. Oh my god, look at all these Bandy and the Ink Machine posters. Dude, they're pretty awesome. All right, let's keep on moving, guys. Oh, he came across the ink machine. Uh-oh. This is not good, man. Dude, he's trying to get in the machine. Because <laughs> it's not going to work, buddy. Yeah. Pull the lever. Dude, he's about to activate the machine, and he does not know what he's going to get himself into. Oh, look, there's a, a little movie of Bendy right here. That's pretty cool. All right, so this guy's getting himself into some serious deep business. Ah! Oh, my God, yo, that's Demon Ink Bendy. What is he doing here? All right, uh, so how do we get across this? All right, let, we have to do some parkour, actually, to jump over here. Oh, no. Right, there you go. There you go. We got it, man. We're pros. All right, so he came across Bendy. The, dude, there's a fire over there. <laughs> he came across Bendy. I have to get out of here. Oh, man. I don't know if he's going to make it out of here, guys. All right, so do we have to jump over here again? I think we do. Right, or actually, that's the end of the story. What? We never know if he got out alive or if he even made it out alive. That kind of looks like my old outfit. <laughs> I used to have that outfit before. Our next story is Jason. Oh, man, yo, there's a giant fire already. I'm so glad we're just the two of us in this forest. Yes! All right, so as we can see, both of these guys are out here by themselves. And they're on fire, but they're out here in the forest enjoying Mother Nature. You hear that? Probably just the wind. Yeah, I don't know. Oh, Jason is back there. Oh, all right. Jason is active, so don't get near Jason, guys. And the tree knocked over. Oh, my God. This is just pure madness. Shank. Oh, no, dude. He stabbed the poor girl. Dude, Jason is a savage. And then the poor guy is shocked and awe. He is not responding right now. Boy, you better move and start running before Jason cuts off your head, man. All right, let's see what happens. Oh, no, he ended up getting the poor guy, too. Dude, Jason is... Jason has no chill. Like, he does not let anybody live. He has no mercy. Oh, Siren Head is the next story. Ugh, it's still a long way to go. All right, so this guy, he seems like he's camping or he's hiking. I don't know, somewhere in between the lines. I think we should make a stop. Dude, who, who is he talking to? He's talking to himself, right? Because there's nobody else. Alrighty. All right, so it seems like he made it to a stop. He made it to a tent. It's kind of strange. There's a random tent build already. All right, let's go see. Oh, dude. Siren Head is right here. All right, so this guy is deeply asleep, as we can see in this tent. But Siren Head is right outside the tent, ready to rip this guy in half. What the? Oh no, so now he heard the siren head noises and he woke him up and he has seen siren head for the first time. This is so loud! As you can see, he is getting blared by the siren head noises and it's hurting his ears. 
Oh man, why isn't he running? That's my question. Like, why is he not running? Oh, and yep, that's what he gets for not running and just staying in one spot. Dude, look at Siren here. Let's get a better look at him. Oh my god, this guy is super tall. All right, man. So that's it for him. He came across Siren Head, came across him and took his life. That's why I have never want to go camping, man. These scary stories be having me paranoid. Like when Jason pops out out of nowhere or Siren Head, for example. <laughs> oh, gosh. And another four story Slender Man. That's another guy you got to watch out when you go to the woods. Oh, no, I'm lost. Oh, no, poor guy. He's lost out here in the forest. Like, how did he even get lost to begin with? I don't know, man. What is this? What is what? A tree? Oh, wait. I, I see like a clicking thing right here. I don't know. I don't see anything, man. You might be seeing things, buddy. I think he might be cuckoo on the head, actually. Ooh. All right. So I suppose there's supposed to be like a Slender Man. Oh, dude. What? <laughs> Look at Slender Man. <laughs> what? <laughs> dude, I didn't even know what a Slender Man was behind him the entire time. What is wrong with his face? I'll tell you something. I don't know, man. That was some funny business. Let's move on. Ah! Oh, no, Slender Man. Oh, it's Headless Slender Man. What in the world is going on? Now he doesn't have a head? Earlier, he had a weird face. And now he doesn't have a head on, on his shoulders. There's just some fishy business going on here, guys. I don't know what's going on with that Slender Man, but he is definitely not right. All right, so for our next story, we got Hello Neighbor. This is pretty cool. We haven't had like a Hello Neighbor in such a long time. How cool is this neighborhood? Um, huh? Yeah, there's not much really of a neighborhood here. There's just a tree and the car, <laughs> but whatever. He enjoys his neighborhood. Let the man be. Okay, I'm going to go meet my new neighbors right away. Yeah, man, I wouldn't want to meet my neighbor, but little does he not know that his neighbor is an evil neighbor. What's one of my neighbors doing there? Dude, he's, he came across Mr. Neighbor's house. Oh, I think this guy just locked somebody up in the basement or something. Oh, man, let's go see what happens next. Okay, it's time to run. Oh, no, he witnessed something. The guy at the window saw it all, and I'll catch him. Oh, no, Mr. Neighbor actually saw the guy seeing him through the window on whatever he was doing. So now Mr. Neighbor's not so fond of it and he's gonna chase him down. I need to find out what he's hiding. Yeah, man, if I was you, I would just mind your own business, man. You don't know what you're getting yourself into. And he went inside the house. So the key was under the bed the whole time. Dude, why does it look like he just passed out on the floor? <laughs> and when he's trying to look for the key. So he went into the house and he found the key to unlock the lock. No, you won't know my secret. Your what? Oh, so he doesn't want to let him know that he actually killed that people and locks them up. But the guy is clueless. But he'll find out soon. Oh, good night. Oh my God. So he ended up kidnapping the guy. And he's about to lock him up in this coffin. From what it seems like it's a coffin. So you see guys, point of the story is do not ever go snooping around and mind your own business because then bad things will happen to you when it is not your business and you stick your nose in it all right so for our next story we got samara ha ah, i like horror movies oh man there's a creepy jump scare on the tv screen all right so this fella right here is enjoying his time passing by by watching scary movies who's on tv oh my god samara just popped on the tv guys it says die oh my god that's pretty that's pretty much a threat. Samara's threatening this guy out here. It's here! Oh my gosh, she jumped out of the TV. <laughs> so it's like the actual ring movie going on right now as Samara really does come out of the TV and it's pretty scary. I'm gonna hide. All right, so he's gonna hide now because he's terrified. Dude, why is the fridge and the stove so humongous? They're like way bigger than he is. Ah! Oh no, Samara found him. All right, and we all know how this is gonna end, man. He is not going to survive the wrath of Samara. Dude, look at her. She looks so big and bold. All right, so to wrap up our scary stories, our final story is ice cream. And I think, I believe this is like one of our first times ever getting one of these. Hello, what do you want, boy? Oh, no, boy. If I was you, I would run for my life. But hey, these ice creams look kind of good. It looks like they smack, man. I kind of want one for myself. But no, we cannot fall for Mr. Rod's trap. Oh no, he's freezing him. Dude, he froze the kid like in the actual game. Oh look, and it's someone someone staring off in the distance. So this is like the actual game. Like when it starts off, 
when the friend goes out for the ice cream and then they get frozen and then they get kidnapped. Rod dropped the map. All right, so he found the map. So this is pretty much basically like the game. Pretty cool. All right, let's see what happens next. It's a cafe. All right, so the map led him to the cafe as we see. Oh no, he but little did he not know Rod might be lurking out around here. Hello, boy. Ah! Oh no, so as I said, Rod just creeped up on him and he is terrified for his life. Oh no, he ended up getting the poor guy and he froze him alive. Oh my god. Hey, Papa Yi, let's go have a seat over here. All right, so guys, well, those were the scary stories. I think my favorite one might have actually been this one because it's like the first time we ever get a ice cream story, which is pretty cool because he kept it between like the story game line. And that was pretty neat. Let me know what your guys' favorite scary story was out of all these. <laughs> Oh man, everybody's right here. All right, you guys. Well, thank you guys for watching. Thank you guys for the amazing support. If you guys enjoyed the video, make sure to slap the like button. If you're new to the channel, make sure to subscribe and turn that notification bell on. And I will see you guys in the next one. Ah.